Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So we are now in the month of September. That means we are going to talk about dividend companies, non-dividend companies that are undervalued. We're talking about the portfolio. We will be talking about dividends that I received this month, the rental income, all of that in the, coming up in the next couple of um, days, inshallah. So I've got a few more videos planned after this one. But today's video, we're going to talk about five dividend paying companies that are undervalued at the moment according to Morningstar. So I'm going to give you the details. But before we do that, please do me a favor. Anytime we talk about any stock, whether it's one that I own on this portfolio or not, please do your research. It's really important to do that because what I'm realizing is a lot of people are kind of relying on, you know, just the, the fact that I bought it, people are actually looking into it, buying it and so on. But please, 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 whatever you do, no matter what happens, okay, do not take this as a financial advice. I'm just doing this to kind of share my journey with you guys, of, of course. And just share my journey. But I mean, I'm just sharing my journey. Generally, that's all I'm doing here. Um, but at the same time, I will give you some information. I will give you some guidance and stuff like that. But then you go away and then do your research. It's not advice, you know, to say, okay, I bought this company, go away and buy it. Um, so please, please, whatever you do, make sure you do your own research before you do this. And sometimes I'm wrong. I'm, I'm literally, I've never said that I'm an expert. I'm I, literally, I'm sharing my journey. I don't know some at times. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So it's very important that you do your own research, please. Okay. So I will be sharing the portfolio update very soon, but let's get started first with the five companies that we're talking about today. Um, but before we do that, if you can join us on the Discord, it really helps the channel. Okay, for two pounds a month, basically you would be able to get all access to all of these things, including the ebook, um, the Sharia compliant ebook, and for five pounds you can earn basically get the same amount, if basically with extra um, perks as well, <coughs> and at the same time you can join us on the discord apologies i'm kind of losing my voice a little bit um but yeah you can join us on the discord trying to build it um the discord is kind of quite a little bit at the moment but i'm gonna start posting more in, in there inshallah very soon um i've obviously after being away for a few weeks from work and now gone back and it's just been hectic last couple of um weeks so inshallah i'll be posting more i'll be a lot more visible in the next couple of weeks inshallah going forward let's start with the five companies that's why we're here and the first company we're going to talk about, but before we do that, actually, the I normally give you quite kind of overview information. So we're talking about the market cap, just to kind of give you how big the company is. We're talking about the moat, meaning how the, the does this company have a competitive advantage, if you like, okay? We talk about the price, we're talking about dividends and so on, if they are dividend-paying companies. It's the five that we're talking about today are all dividend-paying companies. We want to see... The payout ratio. The payout ratio will help us tell us basically how much of the net income they're actually paying us as, a, as part of the dividends. If you like, latest increase, the five-year growth rate, dividend streak. Because we don't want companies that have like a 10%, 11% dividends right now. We want companies that will increase that dividend over the next 10 years. Especially if you are in my situation where I'm not actually trying to use that money anytime soon. I'm building a dividend portfolio so I can live off of that portfolio maybe in, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 years from now on. And we're looking at the safety, we're looking at profit margin, return on equity, ret um, return on invested capital, as well as free cash flow. We're looking at the total return the last 10 years to give us an idea where the company's been and where the company's heading in terms of this year and next year, uh, next five years, and then the valuation where, whether it is actually a buy or uh, sell. Then you can go away and do your own research on the company as well. The first company we're going to talk about today is ASML. This is a Dutch company based in the Netherlands. It's one of the biggest companies when it comes to the equipment that is used to make the semiconductors okay um all the chips that basically all the companies like taiwan semiconductor will buy the products from this company some of those products cost costs a million pounds if not more right now it has a market cap of 263 billion dollars so it's a huge company it has a wide economic mode price right now is 660 dollars per share dividend yield is to just below 1%, payout ratio 24%, latest increase was about 8%, and the five year growth rate is about a decent 33%. Dividend growth streaks of 13 years, per annual payout of $6.50, safety is 82% according to Simply Save Dividend, and profit margin about 29%, return on equity almost 80%. 
and return on invested capital 42 percent this is really a solid business i'll be honest with you free cash flow of about six billion dollars and total return the last 10 years about 23 percent next year they're, they're expecting their earnings to grow about 13 percent and then 40 24 percent every year after that 12 percent discount right now 750 dollars per share is where they think the, the price should be really great business i like the fact that they actually pay dividends even if they didn't pay any dividends i will buy this company for the growth side of things and the fact that they have a monopoly when it comes to this uh, equipment that they sell the next company we're looking at is Metronic. This is one of the companies that I also own in this portfolio. Um, it's $108 per share. The company sells, by the way, um, basically healthcare equipment. It has a wide economic mode. Price right now is $81 per share. Um, three dollars and forty cents is what you will get in terms of dividend payout ratio only fifty one percent so it's not that too high it's not too low latest increase is about one point five percent five year growth rate of eight percent but they have increased their dividend over twenty forty five years which means they are dividend aristocrat heading towards dividend king which is a companies that have paid fifty years plus their dividends. Annual payout, we're looking about $2.76. Safety is 99%. Profit margin, about 13%. Return on equity, about 8%. Top base return on invested capital, about 5%. They have about $5.5 billion of free cash flow right now. And total return in the last 10 years, we're looking about 7%. Next year, their earnings they will be expected to grow about 7%, then 3% after that every single year. They currently discounted about 27% right now. $112 per share is where the price should be. Right now, we're looking at about $108 per share. The next one is Unilever, another one that I have in my portfolio. We're looking at the Unilever, the US-based version rather than this Return on invested capital we're looking about right now third almost forty percent and the return on invested sorry uh, return on equity um, is forty percent return on invested capital we're looking about twelve percent they have about five point nine four billion dollars um, of free cash flow right now total return in the last ten years we're looking at about six percent next year we're expecting about five percent growth and then seven percent after that Morningstar is actually saying it's about ten percent discounted right now. Fifty-seven dollars per share is where the price is at right now. The U.S. version of this stock is right now fifty-one dollars per share. The next company we're looking at today is Nike, another one that I have in my portfolio. One hundred and fifty-six billion dollar market cap. Nike is down quite a bit for the year, and one of the reasons is because there's been some sort of a theft that happened to the company because people are stealing their product from different, basically, retails and so on. As well as, obviously, if there's a recession, consumer discretionary companies normally are the ones that hit hard. So right now it's going through basically that and obviously what's happening in China as well, the lockdown and the reopening and all of that stuff. So... It's down quite a bit for the year, but it's is good opportunity. As you can see here, in 25% discounted right now. Um, current price is $101 per share. Dividend year just above one. Um, payout ratio, we're looking about 41%. Latest increase is basically 11%. And the five-year growth rate, we're looking about 11% as well. Dividend growth rate is about 21 years. But an annual payout of $1.36 $36 per share. Safety, 99%. Profit margin, 90 um, 9.9 just let's call it 10 percent return on invested return on equity sorry 34 percent return on invested capital about 21 percent free cash we're looking about five billion dollars right now and 13 percent return in the last 10 years next year they're expecting their earnings to grow about eight percent that 15 percent every year after that for the next five years 25 percent discounted 136 dollars per share so again another great company that's discounted right now and final company we're going to talk about today is qualcomm another one that i own i own every single one of these companies but please 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 go away and do your research okay before you start looking at these companies 128 dollars per share right now this company um it's been down quite a bit in the last few months okay it has a narrow economic mode price is right now is 114 dollars per share dividend yield of almost three percent payout ratio 32 percent uh, only which is quite nice latest increase was about seven percent five-year growth rate is about five percent and then 19 years of increase in that dividend annual payout you get about three dollars and twenty cents latest um sorry safety is 80 percent 80% profit margin, we're looking about 22%. Return on equity, we're looking about 40 
um, percent right now return on invested capital we're looking about four to one percent so very good in terms of profitability side of things free cash flow looking about almost seven billion dollars total return in the last 10 years we're looking about almost six percent next year they expected the earnings to grow about 10 percent after that there's a bit of a decline and i think that's similar to most of the uh, semiconductor companies apart from the obviously the the ai ones if you like the NVIDIAs and so on. Morningstar valuation is right now about 18% discount right now, $140 per share. Um, so there are five different companies. Every single one of these, according to uh, Morningstar, is actually discounted right now. If you were interested, you go obviously go and do your research. Like I said, Unilever, I use the information from Morningstar and Yahoo Finance as well as um, Simply Save Dividend. The reason I use that is because sometimes it's hard to find information about these companies. That's why you have the latest increase basically I couldn't find for um, for Unilever because obviously it's based in the UK and then you've got version of in the US and so on. Now I'm going to show you very quickly the Sharia compliant side of things. So if, obviously you, so you know exactly what these companies look like in terms of Sharia compliant. Post the video, you can have a look at it. But there's no issues in terms of the business side of it. Interest bearing debt, okay, the highest is Unilever right now, about 23%. Remember, it's about 33% the cutoff. And the interest bearing securities is also quite low for all these companies. So they are Sharia compliant according to Zoe Sharia compliant, okay. Um, but yeah, my plan for these companies, just to be transparent, just quickly show you the basically ASML. I own about eight shares. I will be buying more of this company, inshallah, in the next few months. Um, I've basically this has come down quite a bit so i'm definitely gonna start looking at it again I, like i've always said to you guys i want to own a list minimum of 10 shares of this company the next one that we're looking at is metronic i'm down about 12 percent of this company it's been down for a long long time because my average is about 92 and as you can see right now it's about 81 so not really a huge difference but I i'm happy to accumulate more shares of this company going forward Nike is a new addition to the portfolio and it's down about 7%. Okay, so I'm going to obviously add to it as much as I can. Qualcomm is another one that I'm down about 8%, or almost 9%. So again, I'm happy to accumulate, add more to it. And finally, Unilever. I didn't even know you. I haven't checked Unilever for a long time. I thought it was in the green, but apparently about 2.5%. But again, it doesn't really bother me. I have 100 shares. I'm not buying more for now anyway i'm adding more to it basically rb or racket for example and i'm adding more to it, other stocks right now so i'm not going to touch this one there you go there's there you have it so that's just me being transparent to be honest with you guys there are every single one of these companies the research comes from morningstar it's not something i made up if you're interested obviously learn more about the companies join and join us on the discord join us on the patreon account it really really genuinely helps the channel have a wonderful day assalamualaikum